Hello! Today we're going to be learning how to paint this blue jay. Let's begin! Do you dream of painting realistic wildlife, but you just, you don't know where to begin? Then consider this your personal invitation into the Wildlife Painting Academy. Get access to a large library of real-time, in-depth tutorials, and learn how to paint your favorite animals easily. Check it out in the link of the description of this video. So I'm going to start off by just blocking in my background here. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to go with something that is solid and dark, but you can paint in whatever sort of background you would like. So for this little blue jay, I'm going to be starting with the gray, whitish gray feathers first. So, and I always like to start darker than my final design is going to be, and that's so I can build up detail and texture much more easily. So I'm going to start to block in a medium sort of gray tone here, and then we're going to build in some shadows after. Using a darker gray now, I'm going to go in and flush out some shadows. Next up, I'm going to brush in some highlights into the wet paint below to give it more of a diffused look. Using a dry brush, just kind of blending out my brush strokes a little bit to make everything look softer and more natural. Blue Jays have those signature black rings around their necks, so I'm going to make sure that I hit this very characteristic feature of them right now. And I'm going in with a very dark version of my black that I usually use with a fairly large brush and just sort of block that in for now. Now we get to add some color. I'm going to go in and start to pack in some of a medium toned blue here into the shoulders and the wings of the bird. Next up, I'm going to work on the tail and sort of blocking in those major colors. The tail is going to be in a lot more shadow, so you want to make sure you go darker with your colors here. Now it's time to start working on the face. Start off by mapping out where the different features are going to go, and then we're going to add in some colors after. Using the same medium tone gray from before, start to block that in in the areas where the feathers are going to be a little more shadowed, so underneath the beak. You can also start to work in some highlights as well with lighter colors. Now you want to make sure you don't forget about those pretty blue feathers on its head. So go in and add some blue into the little blue cap of our blue jay. And now it's time for all of that super fun detail. Grab yourself a smaller brush and take your time going through your bird and detailing all of those areas that are needing it. So let your painting dry for a few days and then your next step is going to be glazing. Mix yourself up a nice blue glaze, I like to use phthalo blue here, and apply it to the blue feathers to really boost the saturation. Now I'll do the same thing, but using a darker gray glaze to be able to add a little more dimension to the gray feathers of your bird. 
The last step is to add a couple more final details and then you're done. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to paint a realistic blue jay. Now if you want the full real-time lesson complete with paint mixing, line art, glaze mixing, and my voice walking you through the entire thing, then the Wildlife Painting Academy might just be the right thing for you. You can check it out in the description of this video. Thanks for watching! I will see you in the next video!